The purpose of this video is to show you how to troubleshoot and test and check that a temperature switch is working correctly. This is a typical kind of temperature switch you would see. It's a Dwyer. The probe would be sticking in to your process piping, probably on a compressor discharge or a blower discharge. And the switch has an action range. These are nice because you can set where you want to go off at. So on this switch, for instance, we could set it at 100 degrees, and you can see that it's at 70 degrees now. So this switch won't activate until the black uh, dial gets up to the red and, and closes it. So we can test the switch by flipping it over and checking. It's a little hard to read. There's our normally closed, normally open. And if we put the switch past its action point, now it's closed. So usually we wire these temperature switches normally open, and we set the set the the action level. You know, if, somewhere around if it's like an SV system, we usually put them around 140 degrees because we don't want them to melt the PVC. Sometimes for sparge systems, we put them around 140 because that's where, like, flow meters would melt. But most of the time, they're normally open, and they activate when the actual temperature goes past the setting. The black is what our actual temperature is. The red is our action level.